Hi. I realize when it comes to anchors, there's as many different anchors as there are people who build them. So I can't really give you any rules, and I suggest you go out and get professional instructions. The one thing that you want to avoid is this, the American Death Triangle. It's the worst possible anchor that you can build. Hi there. Okay, uh, today we are going to talk about vector forces. And I realized after years and years and years of teaching, sort of building anchors, and we talked about vectors, that when I went to Wikipedia and tried to find out a little bit more about vectors before I uh, started this little video, that um, I don't know anything about them. And I can't explain what a vector is any more than I can explain what the theory of general relativity is. So uh, I'm not even going to try that. And also realized that in the past I um, I exchanged the word vector for angles and um, still didn't know what I was talking about. So, uh, you know, it almost seems redundant these days because people are, anchors are getting so strong because 90% of the general public out there that read these videos uh, or watch these videos do nothing more than clip bolts and so the bolts are so strong that in theory I mean any one bolt would be strong enough but because we do redundancy when we're building anchors and we always have two what we do is uh, equalize things so first off what I'm gonna do is build an anchor so these represent two fixed points of an anchor I have a loop that I've hooked together with a fisherman's knot. If you don't know what a fisherman's knot is, go back and check out some of the other videos. So, okay, now I'm going to equalize these. There we go. Go back. There we go. We have an equalized between the two points of the anchor. One, two. And what we have here is a very small angle in this point right here. So if this is 20 degrees or less, and say I have a thousand pounds force, I'll grab my thousand pound weight right now. Now I have 500 pounds going this way and 500 pounds going this way. Technically, actually I have a little more than. I have maybe 510 pounds going this way and 510 pounds going this way. This isn't perfect. It would have to be a straight line. Okay, so As the illustration dictates, <clears throat> as I my anchor points move further and further apart, this angle gets greater. Okay, so as this angle gets greater, the actual reduction of the forces our distribution of the force to each point is reduced. And in this case, I have probably 70% of the force going this way, 70% of the force going this way. So my 1,000 pound anchor, I would have 700 pounds, 700 pounds going this way. It's still a reduction of the overall force on the anchor. Now, if we go crazy, this angle is huge now, right here. And so I no longer have a reduction of force. Now I'm getting to the point where I am multiplying the force, if you can believe that, right? So the weight here is the same. What has changed is this angle here, all right? And if I go even further yet, That's huge. Now, 
If I apply my force, so what's changed is the lever. Let's see if I can explain this uh, differently so you'll understand. Okay, I'm not going to get too into this. Um, the illustration shows us that as we reduce the angles between our attachment points on our anchor, um, we just have better distribution of force between those two pieces. So that's about it for that. Uh, maybe I can explain this in one more way that visually um, might be helpful. So I have my thousand pound dumbbell here. Now if I hold it down on my side, I can hold it here for quite a while. In fact, a very, very long time, right? But as I raise the dumbbell, I can't hold it here for very long. Now, the weight hasn't changed. What's changed is the lever. So this angle here has changed. God, I'm getting to be a wimp. Okay, and so those are the vector forces that we're talking about. So when you're building an anchor, and you're especially building it out of natural protection and natural gear, say cams, nuts, pitons, so on and so forth, you want to reduce those forces as much as possible to maximize your safety and to build a good, strong anchor. Okay, got it? Can't hold it here for long? Weight is the same. Can hold it here all day. Weight is the same. Only thing that changes is the lever. Thanks.